If you're watching this video, then you're probably a fan of Vanguard, and that makes two of us. Vanguard is the poster boy for low cost passive investing, and for average index fund investors, they always get the job done. But in the same way that I encourage you to challenge the norm, whether it be famous index funds or traditional investment strategies, it's about time that we challenged the Vanguard UK platform. What if the platform is inherently flawed? And what if there are better options out there? Let's take a look at where the problems all start. Vanguard UK platform was originally launched in 2017, so it's going to turn five years old next year. The platform has the goal of bringing low cost index fund investing to the UK markets, as it launched with an ultra competitive platform fee of 0.15%. The site includes a range of index funds and ETFs, some advice sections, and more recently, a personal financial planning offering. But the thing is, since 2017, the platform hasn't changed that much. They've been slow to bring out any updates and the fund selection has largely remained the same. There are around 50 funds that focus on equity investing, with the rest being focused on fixed income. Some of these funds are extremely popular. Take the S&P 500 ETF for example, that has around $33 billion in assets. However, some of the funds are barely touched, like the Germany Orcap ETF, with around 100 million euros in assets, which is next to nothing. So if we are being honest, the range of funds isn't really that impressive. Invest Engine, for example, is only a couple of years old, and that has around 130 equity funds, including some of the Vanguard funds, with plenty more being added each month. Hargreaves Lansdowne apparently has around 2,500 funds on the platform, which blows Vanguard out of the water. It's not like the Vanguard funds are exclusive to their platform either, as they can be found on most other investing platforms. Trading 212 or Free Trade include a range of Vanguard ETFs that you can invest in for free, with zero platform fees and no management costs. What makes it even more frustrating is that some of these other platforms sometimes include Vanguard funds that aren't even available on Vanguard's own platform. VWRP, for example, is the accumulating version of VWRL, the FTSE All World ETF, and it can be found on HL. So I guess the question is, why limit yourself to Vanguard funds only, when you could have a wide range of options, including Vanguard funds? Damien Talks Money, So you'll happily reverse jackhammer them, but you won't tell them what the balance of your credit card is. Had an interview with Vanguard a few months back that I'll make sure to link below. They said there that they're actually working on the fund selection, but still, not much has been done. If you don't know already, factor tilted funds focus on the various investing risk factors, which have proven over time to give market beating returns in a globally diversified portfolio. I certainly want to implement factor funds into my own portfolio, but I can't do this with Vanguard. Again, other platforms have these options, and we're probably going to continue to add even more of them. Another big problem relating to account management is that Vanguard don't actually offer two-factor authentication when you're logging into your account. I know that this is a big annoyance for a lot of people. It certainly makes some people feel a bit more uncomfortable when investing large sums of money on the platform. In Vanguard's defense, I think two-factor authentication is actually required when you're withdrawing money from the account, but it's not used elsewhere. This does seem like it would be easy to implement, and they have definitely received feedback on this, but still nothing has happened. A lot of investors are also crying out for an app, for easier access to the platform and to give investors just a little bit more control. Not everybody wants this of course, because many people are worried that if Vanguard bring an app out, then the fees are going to have to increase because of the costs associated with running an app. But again, Vanguard have said that this is something that they're planning to bring. However, this was a few months ago now, and there's still not sign of any change. No communication, no nothing. And speaking of fees, whilst Vanguard are certainly a great low cost investing option, they're certainly not the best. With a 0.15% platform management fee and funds with an average ongoing charge of around 0.2%, you can expect to pay around 0.35% per year in an average account. However, Invest Engine, for example, offer ETF investing with zero platform fees. You only have to pay the fund management costs, which they don't even profit from. Everything that we've mentioned so far is even more frustrating when you compare the US platform to the UK platform. They have zero platform fees, as well as over 3,000 funds, including funds from external providers, an app, and even their funds are cheaper. VOO, which is equivalent to VUSA for us, has an ongoing charge of 0.03% compared to 0.07% for us. So there are plenty of flaws associated with the Vanguard UK platform, and we've seen some examples of other platforms that are doing some things better. But what is the common theme that is associated with all of these different flaws that we've just mentioned? Well, it's the fact that Vanguard know about them, but they're just being too slow to implement the changes. They know what needs to be changed, they have the feedback, and you can probably bet that they have the resources. So what's stopping them? Well, my theory is that you can't really blame them. Why would they be in a hurry? We already have such a large portion of the UK markets, it's not like they're dying for customers, so 
what's the point in making changes? Funnily enough, I think that the situation is somewhat comparable to the story between value stocks and growth stocks. Vanguard is like a value stock. They already have the market. Steady cash flows, they've been there, done it all. They don't need to innovate. Yet other companies, with Invest Engine being a prime example, are brand new to the game. They need to innovate and provide value to attract customers, even if the profit margins aren't there for them yet. So what does that mean for us? Well, we should probably be taking advantage of that. Some of these new providers are actually offering better products at a basic level. Also, they're gonna keep on making changes. They're gonna evolve much quicker than Vanguard, which is a worldwide organization. As investors, why don't we go for the lower fees or the better fund options? What's stopping us? Well, this leads us on to the next consideration, which is trust. Do we trust these new companies, even if they do have a great product, when compared to an investing behemoth like Vanguard? It is so easy to trust Vanguard. You know what you're gonna get. You know the story of Jack Bogle and low cost investing. You know that you're in safe hands. It's like buying the big brands at the supermarket. Yeah, you're paying more, but you can trust the quality. You know it's good stuff. But again, does this actually mean that we should stick by Vanguard? To keep on the same supermarket comparison, I don't shop at the big brand supermarkets. I shop at Aldi for this exact reason. And that's why I'm proud to announce that Aldi will be the sponsor of this vi I'm only kidding. But I actually do shop at Aldi. And why? Because I don't care about the big brands. I just want low cost groceries, I get the job done, and I wanna be in and out 20 minutes, done. I don't wanna be stuck behind Margaret and her 20 fags request at the Asda Tills. So recently, I've been asking myself, why do I treat my investments any differently? I've been spending a fair bit of time using the Invest Engine platform recently, and it certainly has me thinking. Lower fees with better fund selection, easy rebalancing and a nice interface, what's actually stopping me? I'll tell you what's stopping me, loyalty. I have this weird sense of loyalty to the Vanguard brand. I mean, this YouTube channel was basically built off of it. Saying goodbye is not gonna be easy. But as it stands, I don't really know how I feel. I am completely on the fence. And to be fair, I've got till around next April when I can open a new stocks and shares ISO to really decide what I'm gonna do. Invest Engine have proved that they will make changes. Only recently in the past month have they updated their app, added more funds, and they've even added a filter section to the search tool. Now, maybe Invest Engine isn't right for you, but you do have to ask yourself, are there any other options out there that could be better? We shouldn't be blinded by the brands, no matter how good they are. We need to look out for ourselves and pick the best option for us. We should critically analyze all of our investment options, and that includes the investing platforms that we choose to invest through. To do this properly, in a sensible way, you should make a list of what is important to you as an investor. What features or characteristics are you really looking for when choosing an investment platform? Then, do the research. Which platform is most suited to you? And more importantly, why? Perhaps Vanguard will be the best platform for you, as it has been the best platform for me for so long. But things can change. I don't think that Vanguard is a bad platform. Quite frankly, I love it. But I'm not afraid to take note of some of the potential downsides. I set up a poll a few days ago and it turns out that around 75% of you do think that Vanguard is the best investment platform. I am curious to know whether me highlighting these issues has changed your mind. So I will actually raise the same poll after this video is out. For those of you that don't stand by Vanguard, I'd love to know what other options are actually highly rated amongst you, to see if there are any other options that I've not made reference to in this video. The modern investment environment is fast evolving, and with the zero fee investing revolution, many platforms are bringing a lot to the table when it comes to low cost passive investing. If any other strong contenders do come onto the scene, I'll make sure to review them, just like I did with Invest Engine, to see whether or not they're worth your time. Because ultimately, whether I like it or not, my beloved Vanguard is not going to be for everybody and it might not even be for me in the near future, but only time will tell. If you did agree with some of the points in this video and you're curious to learn more about the Invest Engine platform, then this is the video for you. Until then, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time. What are you talking to me 